Now this is a pleasant surprise, the John Deere DB120 is here! Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ, welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 39 mods for you for all platforms. We got 22 new and 13 updates. And for PC Mac, we have three new and one update. We did have an extra new one that was released on PC earlier today, but it has been removed at the time of recording this video. I do make mod review videos every time they're released on the in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss any. And we're doing some really cool stuff with Giant's mod team very, very soon. So let's get into today's video. Starting off today with some new mods for all platforms. We've got a new map. This is Spruce Mountain Farms from Maps by Mako. This is based in the United States and it is 100% fictional. To the north of the map, you find large mountains filled with logging areas and mini trails for exploring. Also, some of them require 4x4, so you might be able to do some off-roading on here as well. That would be a lot of fun. You also find some extra large fields and maybe a little bit for everybody. We got 45 fields in total, over 15 different forestry areas, BGA productions, stone mining. They do suggest using a stone and lime production mod, which should help out a lot with that. You've also got built-in storage silos and more. Let's take a look at the PDA. As you can see it right here, of course, we have tons of forestry up here, which is nice. And then we have all of the areas down below. Now, if we buy this singular plot of land, um, one thing that you might like, or maybe you won't, this plot right here is most of the map. So just a heads up, it's all the spots that you see, including the roads. So if you want to own the main farm, you also have to have to own all of these other things as well. It just kind of is what it is. As far as things that we get in new farmer mode, well, uh, it's a lot of stuff, man. Small tractors, you get the pure. Medium tractor, you got your Massey in there. Large tractors, the case Magnum, that's the 340, not the larger versions. You have the Mac Pinnacle. You also have your case I-7150, plenty of room to grow there. Cars, you got your pickup truck. Tippers, a couple different tippers there. Header. Cultivator, cedar, that's a direct drill. You've also got a fertilizer spreader, nice cavernal and mower. You've got the K brand tenor, the Samaz windrow, Flattinger forge wagon, stuff for animals, transport, animal transport there, that's nice. Also have a front loader, a bucket for that, header trailer, and you gotta wait. This thing this is wild and crazy, man. That's cool. We have one more uh, sneak peek at the PDA so you guys can see it. Next up, we've got the John Deere DB120. This bad boy is from JHHG Modding, and it's the one that we've been talking about in Farm Sim News over the past few months. Holds 3,524 liters of seed. You've got a 17.9 ton weight. It's very heavy. 370 horsepower is required for this as a 36.5 meter working with and nine miles per hour you're gonna get a whole lot done with this as far as tank configurations we have standard we've got the refuge plus which adds some extra there we also have the liquid fertilizer which adds even more about 1500 liters there we also have the front liquid fertilizer tank and then back to standard again as far as wheels go we can see a look at these all around michelin trilobog bkt and lizard tires now the inside of these are um yellow and then some of these are chrome so that's interesting that may or may not be the way it's supposed to be and then we've got some different setups for each of these as well come through trying to see if we've got any tracks but doesn't look like we've got any options for tracks there gps we've got the 3000 and the 6000 lighting configuration we got work lights wheel covers well we've got wing wheel covers and then nada Back vacuum blower, yes and no. Is that gonna show? Yes, it does, that's very good. The cleaner disc configuration. We have no till row cleaners and then nada. We also have attachers. You could do a trailer hitch behind this, maybe do some more seeds or fertilizer, something like that. Under a fourth conveyor, yep, yep. You could do that on the back as well. Makes loading up much, much easier. You can see at the top right hand corner of your screen, it does say planters special, da 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 da. Additionally, this seeder offers the possibility to seed directly, no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. Next up, we've got the Colossus Trion 52750. This is a uh, newer combine harvester for you guys with some different engine options. So starting off with those, you got 258 horsepower. You've also got 306, 306 with added capacity on there. And then we also have 354, 408, and back down. So a lot of stuff in between. Plus, 
We have some additional things there at the top. I see all of those. Will brands include Trelleborg. We also have Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Radstein, tires. Um, we do have the special crawler or wheels on the Tryon, which is very nice to see through there. Pipe, well, we got a medium, small, large, extra large, extra, extra large in the back end again. And then, well, your license plate, that's about it. This will go 18 miles per hour. Of course, whatever your header does, that's gonna be your harvesting speed. 12,000 liter capacity on here. There's also an 8,000 liter, 9,000, and 10,500 liter capacities on here. So there's different ones depending on which engine option you go with. Next up is the Precision Sprayer Pack. What this does is it adds the spot spraying functionality to all of these. Now, one thing as well to keep in mind, they've added wheel configurations and color choice on these too. We also have versions without steering axles available in the Arian, the Commander, and the Navigator, as you guys saw right there. So kind of choose what you like through there, even right here here so yes the john deere sprayer is part of this mod pack we even have the hardy rubicon as part of this pack uh, it doesn't appear that much else if anything has changed but we do have uh take capacity colors uh the chassis colors on here as well uh really really cool stuff i imagine this might be helping guys out that maybe you want to use this hardy rubicon you want to use it for precision farming and uh you can you know choose whatever color you want there maybe you want this to be a, a john deere do you i don't know maybe you do you can change it up to green change your details to yellow maybe don't change those details to yellow and your rim colored yellow, boom, now it's well, kind of a John Deere. At least it'll match your farm. So go through there, check it out. Again, to use the spot spraying function, you do need precision farming, but to use these, I don't have precision farming turned on right now and still use them just fine. Next up, we have the Lizard Special Low Loader TL38. This bad boy right here is well, it's just another trailer option for you guys. We do have tons of customization, including the override aids on the back. We have the beacon light on left, right, left and right, or nada. We do even have different beacon light designs overall. So if you guys want to choose some different ones, you can. Side marking lights, we've got those, yes or no. Warning signs, yes and no. Those are on the very back. AU style, just heads up there. Low Loading security system, automatic or tension belts, positive steering, you've got the max 15 degree, 30 or nada. Main color, well, you've got their standard color palette from HR Forest. The ramps right on the back, you could do that, and even rim color. Go ahead and change it up to that. Next up is a pack. This is the Ampago Jet X pack. We've got two things in here. You've got your main cedar here, 1,000 liters of seed only, three tons, 195 horsepower required, four meters at seven miles an hour. Then we have the power harrow that goes along with this, 160 horsepower required for this, four meters at seven miles per hour. One thing to note is you don't need one and then the other. They're both two separate pieces of equipment. From the ARM team, we have their bell pusher. This is, well, for pushing bells out of your way. We've got with lights and without. Main colors include all the base game colors. We'll just go with the red so you can see that. And then design color. I assume this is going to be the other half. And it is nice and simple. Another mod from the ARM team, their Lizard Loader QM Extra Heston version. Now, this is the unbranded version of their other mod that they released uh, last week sometime, I believe. Maybe it was a week before. Regardless, this is for all platforms, unlike the other one, which is PC only. This will take their Heston bells, the really big ones, which don't use a lot of auto load trailers, and loads them up. You can load up to 10 bells with this, and it is semi-automatic when it comes to the loading. So you're going to have to lower it down, get the bail out, but it'll put it in the trailer for you. It makes it nice there. As far as specs, we have some Trailborg, Michelin, BKT, Brad Stein tires. You can change a few of those up as well. As far as your design, we have without grippers, and we got the default and wide design without beacon, with beacon. Main color can be literally every base game color that you want, and your rim color can be changed up as well. One thing that I noticed on the PC only version, the hubs stay green no matter what. If you thought I was done with the ARM team, not quite yet. We have the Lizard PS1823H trailer. Again, this is a console version of a PC only trailer that they've got. It holds 23,300 liters, weighs 7.3 tons. So as far as your configuration, you got your green body, number one, 
And number two, this is gonna be the exact same capacity, so heads up there. Then we have a silage body that does go up to 37,800 liters and then back down. So not a whole ton through there, just those options. Wheel brands, trailer bark, Michelin, BKT, ride stock, nice to have to see those. Design without mud guards and with design, no livery. You got Scottish flag, UK flag, or none. And then cover, yes and no. You can even change up the main color of this. If you don't like that blue, you can even go with a different rim color. Again though, uh, the hubs will stay blue on this. They don't change colors. Next is another pack, the old Lizard Car Trailer Pack. This has three trailers in it. Boom, boom, and boom. If you think they look similar, well, so do I. However, they're different. This version right here, well, it's just a trailer at the end of the day. I can't fill it up with anything. You maybe put a few tools in there, something like that. Main color, you've got all of these different colors through here. Design color, all of these. And then your rim colors, well, of course, they are rim colors at the end of the day. Moving on, we have the old car trailer. Well, of course they all are. This holds 1,000 liters of bulk material. Then we've got one right here. It's the same, but we've got different uh, options and then we've got different wheel options for that one and it'll hold animals. Uh, it also hold up to 1,700 liter capacity for all bulk crop. Including with that, you have one cow, two pigs, and five sheep. Our last mod mod for, for all platforms today is the Horse Titan 34UW. This holds 34,000 liters. That's going to be your auger wagon crop, standard auger wagon crops. Weighs 7.4 tons and it has 280 horsepower required. As far as your wheel brands go, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, and back in again. Main colors, well, you've got a couple different ones. Red, gray, yellow, and black. I like that yellow. Let's go with that. And the rim colors, we have white, special, which is similar to base game gray. We have gray, which is actually darker than base game gray. Beige, silver, and black. And uh, for some reason, the uh, hubs on this one are staying the same color as the base model. Generally, this doesn't happen, so I wonder if something's going on. We've also got a ton of placeable mods for you guys today as well, but because of the computer that I'm using and because of the way I'm editing and uploading videos here at Giant uh, Software in Germany and Erlangen, I'm having a hard time getting stuff together. So I'm just gonna go over some of this stuff really quickly with you. We got the workshop, it's, well, it's just a simple workshop. We also have a chicken barn for you. The old brick barn, there's two different barns included with this pack. The acidic acid production from Zodal Zog. It's pretty cool. This mod includes acidic acid production, silo for compost, silo for acidic acid, one trailer and one semi-trailer, all for liquids. With the acidic acid production, you can produce it from silage and then it can be used as a byproduct, um, or its byproduct rather, is compost. Compost and acidic acid can then be sold either directly at the silo or storage silo or at the wholesale and further processed and still appearing in productions. How cool is that? Another mod from them, the pellet press. This mod includes a pellet mill, silo for molasses, silo for pellets, and two universal trailers. The pellet mill can then produce hay, straw, and wood pellets from hay, straw, and wood chips, a combination with molasses and water. The pellets then can be sold either directly through production or the warehouse. Molasses can then be produced or uh, pr purchased with the <clears throat> molasses silo. You get it. We also have the simple farm silo. This right here will hold uh, 5,050 liters. No, 5.5 million. Sorry. Uh, price per silo is 20 22,000 euros? Dang! Simple silo, multi-fruit, look at that. And that ain't too bad. We've also got the Brazilian cow barn. Uh, this will hold, looks like 400 cattle, so that is absolutely massive, which is really, really good. I know a lot of people have been asking for large cow barns. Well, here's one, it's not that expensive either. Was that 50 grand? <laughs> Pretty good. We've also got the customizable farm sign. This mod can create a customizable farm uh, sign. Uh, you'll then find it in miscellaneous category in the vehicle shop, not in the buildings place. Sign calls 500 bucks and customization options for text and color are free. Currently it's customizable with some options in English, German, and Dutch. Uh, if you're missing some text for customization or your language, uh, uh, they do say they'll open a topic in the Giants forum where you can leave some requests. And we've got a dairy. Oh yeah, it's gonna cost you 35 grand, 25 to 25. Input is milk and sugar, now put is bread, cheese, and chocolate. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Brand Yard Signs. This pack of branded yard signs to place around your farm. You got Agco, Big Bud, Brent, Case IH, Challenger, Fent, Great Plains, JCB, John Deere, Lizard, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Pioneer, and Wilson Trailers. And your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Halogen Lamp. They're two very 
variants to choose from. You got well, one and number two. You pick, uh, looks at like you can at least pick up the small one, which is nice. We've also got a ton of mod updates for all platforms today as well. Starting off with the McCormick pack is going to be version 1.2. Precision farming ready, simple IC ready, added horn configuration, and added beacon configuration. As well as an update to the Robo Mouse pack. This is going to be version 1.1. They've added or automatic overloading only when the vehicle is turned on. Automatic overloading will stop when the vehicle is turned off. They've increased the material pickup range for the feeders from 3 meters to 5 meters and increased the emptying speed of the conveyor arm uh, to 1,500 liters. This is identical to the fill speed, meaning that you can theoretically let this thing run forever. This is an incredible update, and if you use anything like this, you really need to get this. Next up, we have an update to the wholesale mods. It's going to be version 1.002. Fill types have been added. You got wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, wheat malt, barley malt, corn malt, soybean oil, hops, hops pellets, uh, lump sugar, brown sugar, brown lump sugar, powdered sugar, beet syrup, and sugar syrup. And the John Deere 2410's got an update from JA Monning to version 1.2. It corrected the number of collision masks where it brought out the error to the autopilot after making the return to the ground no longer plowed the fields and left the implement static, which is not good. Uh, everything should be working great now. Also, uh, this works really, really well to, pre to prepare your seabed before the DB120. Check it out. Here's a great update. The Lizard F100 from Farm Citrus Soul. Uh, I didn't need to do anything different to it. It's a great mod version 1.1. Uh, one, one. Added passenger compatibility. Kubota DLC will be required, but still works. Also an update to the Samsung PG packs. Could be version 1.1. Collision bug has been fixed and manure sensor has been added for precision farming. The Deutzvar D16006 got an update to version 1.1. The mod has been adapted to the exhaust extension for PC only. They're actually both made from the same modder, which is cool. And the rustic brick and metal fence got an update. Added 7 meter gates. Keeping it going, we've got an update to the map. Adelshoven is going to be version 2.0. They removed floating barriers, adjusted the spawn point of the cattle trade. Spawn point has been adjusted at the dealer, moved the starting point to housing container. Trees have been removed from field number 7. Terrain height has been adjusted. Signs have been built into the map and sound adjustments. Keeping it moving, the Zeta Proxima HS120 has got an update to 1.2. Precision farming ready, simple IC ready, added horns and added beacons. Milk tank extension got an update to version 1.0. 1.0.1. They've improved the textures. Covered pile storage got an update to version 1.0. Point one, small and medium warehouse added. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the Massey Ferguson 8700S from Blue Aug and Modding. It's going to be version 1.2, mod prepared for precision farming DLC. Wheel options have been re-added, or wheel, <laughs> your weight's been changed, uh, new details, and minor bugs been squished. And we've got some new mods for PC and Mac players today. We're just going to jump through these really quickly. The first one is the Nully 37 CG85. This is a new cultivator for you guys. Price is $18,000, working speed 17 kilometers per hour. Uh, 340 horsepower is required. It's kind of 10 meter working with. We also have the Sojman 9 Anchor. This is going to be, if I can look at my notes correctly, another cultivator for you. This one's 70 horsepower required, 2.5 meters at 12 kilometers. And your only other new mod today for PC and Mac players, with the exception of the one that was removed. That was a Scania truck earlier. Won't talk about that today. Lease to own. In general, lease to own offers the methods by which a leasing contract provides for the 10 to eventually purchase the property. One common lease owned strategy is to include an option to purchase provisions in the lease or provisional in the lease. This clause states that the tenant may purchase the leased er, premises during a particular time period and according to the terms and specified in the lease. Probably didn't read any of that correctly, but nonetheless, uh, this is kind of neat. There's a whole lot to this, uh, and I would probably need to make an entire video just on this, so check it out. Maybe something that you're interested in. And your one mod update today for PC and Mac players is Info Display Extension. This is going to be version 1.3.0.3. Description corrected and added Russian translation. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We're having a great time here at the Erling in the office of Giant Software playing some farming simulator, checking out some stuff. A getting ready for FarmCon later this week. I should have a farm some news coming out a little bit later after this video, so stay tuned. That way you don't miss that. But otherwise, hope you have a good one. I'll see you later. Peace.